Bokoto. Shit talker back in the noise is the rabbit. Funny how I turned this on and all of a sudden something fell. Sometimes I think they move things around in here with directed energy. Now, yesterday I stopped here because, you know, it's school time, people wake up and this and that. So I go back. Now this is Martin Luther King, and this is um, a pink man. He is talking about the beast as a saint, but he doesn't say who the saint is. See? The truth about Martin Luther King Jr. I'm going to make this one part two. I change the title. He's under, on my page, he is under... Um, Crowley, Kinsey, now they destroy what they have created. Now they have, now they destroy what they have created. Should be a teaser. Guess I will have to change it on all of them. Now, let's get back to what the white man says about the melanated man. I should probably look that up. My mind says Russia, but I don't know. I really don't. I probably knew a long time ago, but I don't remember. Take out the headset. One of the first things that they did in this video was show me a melanated man. Let's go back. We are talking about the beast as saint. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay, I'm not going to play with the words. It'll take too long. Now, this is the beast he is speaking of as saint. Because that is who he shows me first. Now, he is going to tell me the truth about Martin Luther King Jr. A pink man is going to tell me the truth. And see the fist? You see that? And you see that? What is not that? That little two-finger peace sign for victory. But he is still in between words that keep them in power and keep us not in power. Unless he is seeing black power, that he is in the black when it comes to money. If he is calling himself black, that means he lacks information on his history. When you have information on your history, your ancestors, and your lineage, and all, you will not allow anyone to call you black even if your skin is black you will let them know my yes my skin is black but that does not mean that i am black as my nationality or as who i am now the beast is saint this is a melanated man you see the fro but they haven't read as though the melanated man is the devil so tell me, who is this? Is this Obama? He is a melanated man. He comes to me, a part of the evil. And look, he has the five on his door. Which means he is locked into it. If you do not know what this means, if you do not know what that little peace sign means, and you wear these things, that mean you are locked inside. You must know what they mean. That is what that pink... um preacher was talking about in the book when heavens are brass you need to know the things the symbols and things that you have around you when the communists took over a country one of the first things that they did the first one of the first things that they did what did they actually show you first what did you see here first the first thing i actually saw here when this picture slid in was the towers the towers because the Martians, they need the towers to operate off of our energy so that they can operate our minds. We possibly do not even need these towers because we are energy and we are the energy. So the first thing they show you is one, two, three. The number three is wisdom, knowledge, and comprehension. So they use Hitler, their towers, and bombs. 
to put people under their mind control. No matter how you are, you believe this, you believe that, you do not know the invisible ones. I don't know what this man's name is, but he is standing there like that. And by me not knowing what his name is standing here, he has become an invisible one. Although I see him, he is still invisible to me because I do not actually know who he is. I just see what he is doing. Now, people think that their guns are going to help them. Hmm. These people have tanks. They have nuclear bombs. Didn't you see what they did to Black Wall Street? No, you, we did not. I think we are too young. But haven't you heard? They flew planes. I'm sure my people had guns. I'm sure they did. So, they overpowered them with their bombs. Haley Selassie, I'm sure Haley Selassie had a government. And I'm sure he had military. And I'm sure they had guns. But did they have chemical weapons? Chemical, I guess it would be a weapon. You put it in a plane, like a, and it's like bomb, and you drop it on people. I don't think they had that. Millionated people do not go that far to kill people. It does not take all of that to kill people. Wow. So you think your guns will save you? Okay. I want to see your guns save you, but guess where I will be standing? I will be standing behind you and your guns. And if you need help with fists and feet and beat the shit out of them, I will help you. Because you will help me with your gun as long as your gun will help us. Now this is Mandela and I explained him in the other one. I'm going to move on but I want to tell you there is the fist. There are no two fingers. See? And this is what they were mad about. Hold on. See? That is not Alistair Crowley. So I guess he is not of Alistair Crowley. He is of this. But they have an agenda for us too because they are pink also. Now... Look at this, the fist. Now we have opened up our fist to them. King's victory is what Kinsey name means. King's victory. Wow, they come in their names and you still, they still remain invisible. Wow. Let's move on from Mandela. Just remember, let's start back with our fist. Not to hit anyone though, only to maintain our power and our energy inside our, our, the palm of our hand, to hold it in the palm of our hand and not to give it away to them. He wants to hold his energy too because he knows that his people will fuck him in the ass and they had a chance if they have not done it yet. Or they will do him as they did him, lobotomize him. And that's what the man said too. I was watching. He said, um, oh yeah. He said that these people work with them because um, they fear for their lives. You know, or maybe they are blackmailed or something like that. And that's the same thing in Stephen King book. And I found Stephen King in other places. I uh, uh, go faster than I need to. I really do, because this here is like two days ago, I guess. And I'm way beyond that, the things I have already seen and the things I already want to talk about. The theft of the people's weapons. The theft of the people's weapons. Wow. Our weapon is our mind. Number one weapon is our mind. And they came and stole it, the robber. Oh, it's the theft of their history. There was the theft of their history. What are they? The theft of their history means they stole these people's histories. I want to say that they are Mobites and they stole their history. But I know the history of the Mobites because I am a Mobite from Ruth. Ruth is a Mobite. She is my Ima in ancient, ancient, ancient times. This is a Jew boy. How you can tell a Jew boy? Most of them, their noses are like a beak. When you go into um, Nebuchadnezzar in the Bible, when you research the word Nebuchadnezzar, I don't know if you ever find it now, as I said, my dictionaries and things like that were um, dated 
you know, like early 1800s, early 1900s and stuff, and they changed a lot. But how you can tell a Jew boy, Nebu, it will go into the word beak. And when you in the word beak, it will say, like a Jew's nose. So they are telling you that Nebuchadnezzar was a Jew. That's the type, and he got his name because uh, it gives you a description. And then the curly ha. So he is a Jew boy. You see the five pointed star? We were exiled from our history books. Now they will not show us us, but they will show us other people. See, these people, they were once melanated. Do you see them back there? See? He looks yellow. But now they are pink. Most of them are pink. Mm. And communist killers and criminals. They were not communists, they were Illuminati. And instead of perps, they were Jesuits. And the word Jesuits is suits, and they do wear suits. Other words that appears in the word Jesuits is Jesus. And United States, when you say Jesuits, more than one, because they say they are united. He looks like the boy. They played then kiss me if you can. That's what he really looks like. Just made him move them. Holiday. And they have on a green jacket, at least here it is painted green. Because green is life, it is fresh. That's why army use green. Because they are coming to kill your life and what is fresh your children. It is also energy. Look how he looks. Why do they put people in like that? Do they want me to know that this nigga is a straight devil? Yes, they do. Murder countless nations. Who is standing behind him? Pink people. Anytime we place ourselves with pink people, you, your character will become defamed because they don't give a fuck what pink people look like, what they think they want to look like as far as wearing a monkey suit or being a priest who will fuck your little boy. This is a Jew and this is a Canaanite. See, Bush is a Canaanite. It's kind of funny that Bush is a Canaanite when Alistair Crowley is Barbara Bush's dad. So Barbara Bush and Hitler are brothers and sisters. Hmm, isn't that something? And Bush Jr. is the grandson of Crowley. I am not the only one says that. I had a dream. It showed me a movie. I will Google that and there there's so many people who talk about it. Same thing with Obama. I say Obama is not real. Obama is a clone. I Google it and there's so many other people talking about it. I don't know these people and these people do not even know that I know that they are talking about it too. They do not know. I know it either because they keep us apart. So now here is three melanated men who are hanging out with pink people. But at the time, see what we were called? We were not called black. We were called Negroes. In Negroes, in the language, I forget what language, but it means never to grow. But I forget what language. But people say, no, it means black. It means black. Yeah, maybe in some languages. But there was a language. I really looked it up and I dissected it. And it said never to grow. Well, who causes this shit? United States. And it is a history. So now it is someone's money. Rick. America, turning point for the Negroes cause. Hmm. But they, if, if anything, this is just like the Black Panthers. There were melan unmelanated groups who helped the Black Panthers to taught them to form a army. Because we don't know how to form an army. We know how to get in line, stand in attention, or at ease in the United States 
army and military, but we do not really know how to grow our own. That is why they killed off the Black Panthers. They could not go and just kill off the unmelanated man because other unmelanated men everywhere would have stood against them. So what do you do? You do not kill the root. You kill what grew from the root of Black Panthers military. And the same happened to him. They were giving him information. Now let's need to be quiet. So you come back and Willie will be quiet. Not much, but a little bit. As I said, I'm going to sit here and talk my ass off. Shit talking like he my oops. <laughs>